and welcome to the second in the head-to-head -head series. This episode promises to be an exciting and intense debate between two rival positions. We will express both sides and let the audience decide who they support. On the one side we have staunch feminist and ex-Harry Potter actress Emma Watson. On the other side we have the lesser known but still funny English comic poet Les Barker. For some unknown reason, uh, Les has decided tonight to identify as a cat. I don't know. Tonight's debate is on Emma's pet project, He for She. I will be acting as moderator to try and keep the conversation on track. So let's get started. The guidelines of etiquette dictate that we let Emma speak first, so go ahead, Emma. Women are choosing not to identify as feminist. Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? The word futile springs to mind. <laughs> A uh, point of order, Les. Please let Emma finish. And the more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. The word futile springs to mind. <laughs> We are struggling for a uniting word, but the good news is that we have a uniting movement. It is called He for She. I want men to take up this mantle. Oh, that's quite a demand there, Emma. Uh, do you have a, a response in that point, Liz? We don't do the faithful subject. We don't do the daily grind. You should never have attempted this. Guide cats for the blind. <laughs> Ooh, burn. But I am one of the lucky ones. My life is a sheer privilege because my parents didn't love me less because I was born a daughter. My school did not limit me because I was a girl. My mentors didn't assume that I would go less far because I might give birth to a child one day. Thank you for that point, Emma. But acting as Dell's advocate, are there any parents you know that do think less of their child because they were born female? I think it's important to recognize the privileges you receive. What about you, Les? What's your take on privilege? Give Kitty so much trust and we'll abuse the privilege. You think you're going out? You're opening the fridge. I am... Um, uh, I'm not sure how to moderate that. And if you still hate the word, it is not the word that is important. It's the idea and the ambition behind it. Of some matters I am ignorant, but this I know for certain. The best place for a blind man isn't halfway up a curtain. <laughs> Men, I would like to take this opportunity to extend your formal invitation. Did you ask for our assistance? If you did, well, we've declined. Okay, I guess that is offer extended and clearly rejected. Well said, Emma. You want to expand a little more? Okay, go ahead. Reclaim those parts of themselves they abandoned, and in doing so, be a more true and complete version of themselves. <coughs> you think I'm trying to help you? I'm not serving man but mammon. You think you've gained a faithful friend? You've lost a plate of salmon. <laughs> okay, okay. I think the point on both sides of this issue have been made clear, so there's little reason to press that specific issue. 
let's move on it, please, Emma. Statesman Edmund Burke said, all that is needed for the forces of evil to triumph is for good men and women to do nothing. I once met a man called Pavlov. From time to time he rang a bell. Simple things make humans happy. Okay, Les, we're starting to run a little low on time. I'm going to have to press you for a point. But I have to say that, well, I found it a disturbance, and poor chap, I think he knew it. And soon he only rang his bell when I wanted him to do it. <laughs> I am inviting you to step forward, to be seen, and to ask yourself, if not me, who? If not now, when? Point of order, Emma. I did say we were moving past that point, which we could not agree on. We are almost out of time, but I have to give Les the right to reply, as well as the final statement for this debate. You made a basic error. Now let me expound. This master-servant thing's okay, but not that way round. Ooh, just when this debate was starting to get heated. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. I would like to thank Emma and Les for their appearance, and I will leave the audience to form their opinions. Goodbye all, and watch out for the next episode of Head to Head. Thank you.